Welcome to video two in a series of videos about using the events functionality in 90 Second Website Builder. Hi again, this is Greg Hughes. If you watched video one, then you'll recognize what's on the screen right now. We made a couple of hyperlinks here that when you click on them, uh, one shows an image and one hides the image. In this video, we're going to take a, a step further and uh, do it a little bit differently. As you can see, I've got my object manager out here because I like to see what I'm working with. And so I've opened up the object manager window. That's an option. You don't have to do that, but I find it easier. One of the things the object manager allowed me to do was make the image, thanks for clicking the little talk bubble there, uh, it allowed me to make it invisible by clicking that way so that when I tested my site, when my site opens up, it starts off hidden and then uh, I bring it up with my, with my uh, event. But let's do something different. We'll go a little bit deeper. This time I'm going to work with an image that I'm going to go get off of my uh, computer. So I'm going to use the image tool. Go like this. And that brings up uh, my uh, desktop, my computer. I'm going to browse for an image here. There's a good one of a cute baby. Okay, so let's move the baby over here for now. And let's also work with a shape. I'm going to take the drawing tool called Shape and use it to create some kind of a button. So I'm going to double click and let's uh, make it kind of a rounded thing and let's uh, instead of making it solid let's use sort of that glassy pattern make it kind of a a deep red we won't need a border and uh, let's see what that looks like. Okay so there's kind of a, a nice button we can make it smaller there's our button and I think we'll add some text to the button. So I'm, again, I'm going to double click. This time I'll go into the text area. And let's just say, show the baby. Let's make the text to be bigger. Probably see it easier if it's white or something light. There we go. All right, so I've made a shape. And I've got an image. What I'd like to do is I'd like the user to be able to show this image when they hover over this button and I'd like that image to disappear when they are not hovering. So how would we do that? Well we do that using an event. Here's how it works. I'm going to double click and go to the events tab. We're going to create a new event that says on mouse over. That means when my mouse is hovering over this object I want to show a particular image. What image do I want to show? This one happens to be called image one. That's the baby. I click OK. I'm not done yet though because that will just show the image. I also want to hide the image when the user leaves the button. So I'm going to create another event for the same object. And I'm going to say on mouse out, when my mouse moves out from the parameters of that object, let's hide the image one and see what happens. Okay, so here we have all of the pieces ready to go. However, when I preview, you'll notice that the baby is showing, but watch what happens. I'm going to just move my mouse as soon as it goes out, the baby's gone. So this shows the baby as I hover. When my mouse is out, the baby's gone. That's mouse over, it's mouse out, over and out. Let's close that because I don't want it to work that way. The baby needs to start invisible. So again, like we did in the previous video, we're going to go up to image one and start with an invisible image. This is how it should look. So I'm previewing, showing the baby, hiding the baby. So that's how we would use another function in the events uh, tab for these objects. So let's take it one step further. I'm going to double click and let's go back to the event. Let's edit this mouse over event. Right now what we're doing is we're just simply showing the image, which is pretty cool, but we can actually show this image with an effect. Hmm, now it starts to get interesting because you can see I've been given some other choices. Now it's not going to just show the baby, it's going to show the baby using a special effect. And I don't know what Puff does. I'm going to guess this. Let's just see. We'll explore together. So let's see what happens 
when we show the baby using the puff effect. I hit F5 to preview my work. Oh, there's a puff. That's what puff is. That's right. Let's do it again. It just kind of puffs into place, I guess. So that's one effect. Let's do another one. Double click. Go to events. I'm going to edit this event. And again, we're showing with an effect. I don't have to select this again. I'm just showing you what we're doing. We're show with effect. And we can do a, oh, let's do a drop down. Explode seems a little harsh for a baby. So let's do drop down. I'm going to click OK. OK. And F5 to preview. And let's see what it looks like. There it is. OK. So anyway, you can see there's lots of different effects that you could play with. And that would I could spend hours messing around. But you get the idea. It just takes it one step further. You'll notice, too, that when we are leaving the, or when we're mouse out, when, our, when we're not hovering, the baby just disappears. So we could we could make an effect to hide the baby. Let's hide the baby with uh, an effect. And we will do a fade. I'm going to preview. Does this show the baby with an effect? Then hide the baby with an effect. Nice little fade. So have fun playing with some of the settings you have in the Events tab.